What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Let's do a new run today. We're going to do Isaac. And... Yeah, I think we're just going to do a hard mode. Let's try and get the mother fight done today. I think that'll be a good one. Yeah, we finished up doing Maggie, so we no longer need to do any Maggie runs. Yeah, I think the way, like I had mentioned before, I think the way we're going to do this is we're just going to clear out all of these characters in order after we finish up Isaac. So I guess Kane would be the next character after we're done with Isaac. Uh, just finish those all up and just keep going around the circle until we get all the characters done. Yep, and then we will move on to the tainted characters. Get rid of the spiders. Yeah, I think that's probably a good way of doing it. I mean, we could jump around or whatever, but I feel like if we just knock out the post-it notes in order, it'll give us like a sense of completion. Instead of just like an endless <laughs> stream of like unlocks that we have to do, we'll complete out, we'll complete characters, knock them out. Yeah, and I think that'll be better sense of accomplishment that way. Can you get the flash? The poos. So I do have one bomb. We found the boss, but we have not found the item room yet, right? So the item room. I'm gonna have to backtrack for that. Thinking the shop is probably gonna be up over here. So I am gonna go down from the start path. Yeah, there's our item room. Capricorn's a good start item. I like that. All stats up. So tier rate, shot speed, range, damage, all good stuff. Actually, was the shot speed? I think it was just the first. So speed. I think it gave us a health up too. Anyway, yeah, Capricorn's really good. I like it. Can't really complain too much about that. Okay. And I don't know why I came into this room. I probably should not have. No reason to. Okay, there is a curse room, I guess. There is a full heart. We'll go into here and check this out. Guppy's paw. Well, we're going to pick it up and roll that, I think. I'm going to grab some soul hearts out of it. <laughs> we're rolling Guppy's collar. Okay, two parts Guppy. That's not bad for basement one. Let's see what's up this up path. So the shop was back there, but we don't really have any money, so I don't really want to go into the shop. Not enough money that's makes any sense to go in there anyway a fool card all right let's well i was gonna say let's go pick up that red heart but i guess we don't need to all right boss time gemini take out the baby Can I shoot it? Oh yeah, I can kind of shoot it right there on the rock. You can't see me, you can't shoot at me. Mm-hmm. You can see me and shoot at me now. Whoa. The big boy is like all upset. There we go. Now I got rid of his little buddy. He's gonna be really upset with me. I'm sorry. Had to do it though. Otherwise the little baby gets all wiggly. Whoa. <laughs> Give him a hug. That's fine. Uh, all right, so eye drops. I think we're done on this floor. Yeah, let's go this way. Going down. Yeah, so the mother fight. We have to go to the alternate floors. We need to get the knife piece. This will be fun. I think, I think this will be an enjoyable experience. Hopefully we can get a lot of stuff here to get us going. I mean, with Isaac, even if we don't get good items, we should be able to roll into good items. At least that's the overall idea. Here's what we'll pick that up. Happy don't need that. Mm. Okay. Well, I got some bombs out of it, so it was worth. 
Oh, you know what? I am going to need two bombs. Let's not continue to bomb stuff. All right. Well, actually, no, we're fine now. I'm going to go back here and bomb for maybe a soul heart. Okay. Well, we got our keys back. Bomb you. Right. We keep going this way. Five cents. I don't really want to go into the shop with only five cents. Unless we run out of soul health and then we'll look for a soul heart. What is this guy doing? Get out of my way. Okay, we found the boss. We didn't find our item room. Guess we gotta go to the two by two room, the big room. Our dice is ready. Now let's backtrack real quick. Let's go find the item room. There it is. Uh oh, okay, we got a bunch of these guys popping up. A lot of enemies. Uh, large zit or whatever this thing is. A little dumpy. <laughs> okay, great. Nine cents, we got a bomb. All right, well, let's go to the boss. It might actually be worth going into the shop at this point, but let's go fight the boss. Lil Blub. Mm hmm. I have no idea what Lil Dumpy's doing, but it doesn't seem very useful. Okay, getting a little bit more tier rate, more damage. That would be useful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, get rid of the, the leech. Matchbook, that's another soul heart, that's great. Devil room. I feel like we don't do devil deals on this. I feel like no devil deals. Let's see what's in in this room. All right. Uh, I don't think I want anything. Curse room. I don't really want to give up my soul health. Super secret. Super secret. Okay, found it in this one. This one. We're guppy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that is very, very nice to be guppy right away like that. Glad I decided to go to the super secret room. That was an awful curse room. Use the fool card, get out of there without taking damage. All right. Um, okay, we found our mirror. Yeah, we keep going here. Yo, these guys are like, I'm not used to their movement patterns. They kind of scooch a little bit, like twice almost. Get them flies, get them. Thank you. Uh, Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. So we only got half a soul heart right now. Not real good. Oh, and these items are completely blind. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I guess we're doing Tiny Planet. Well, we have flight, so I can just hang out up here. That works for me. Golden bombs are cool. What's alive? Oh, these ghosts? Okay. Ah. 
fully recharges your active item at the start of a boss fight. Well, I mean, that would be cool. But I don't really need it. Um, so we haven't found the shop yet. Let's go find the shop real quick. It's probably just up one floor or one room. Yes, it is. I'm hoping there's a soul heart in there. That is what I would love to see. And there is no soul heart in here. Eighteen cents. Um. Okay, <laughs> hive mind is great. That is real good. Yeah, hive mind plus guppy equals we win. Rainmaker. All right, that's a fine, fine boss to have. Not bad, not bad. HP up, and our angel room is a prayer card. Then I see something drop behind. Maybe I'm going crazy. Okay, we do that. We roll this. Holy Grail flight plus HP. Okay. Um, do we fight the angel? I guess we could. Key piece, and we get a cork. Increases release of creep I produce. Well, we aren't producing any creep. Let's go ahead and blow this up before I forget to do this. Okay, we are going to... Yeah, I think we're going to do this as... Lost character, because we need to get ourselves the knife piece, right? And getting the extra boss item would be kind of cool. We don't have to go that far for the knife piece, but I think that... The boss is easy enough for us to fight. Just gotta make sure we keep track of all the ads in the room. <laughs> yep, that was pretty easy. Nice, we secure that HP. Knife piece is good. Yeah, we're gonna go fight the boss. I would like another boss drop. I think we'll be able to do this just okay, just fine. Ah, uh, keys. That was a good one. Okay, hey, another eternal heart. There's a marked rock right there and a swallowed penny. Really careful not to touch the fire. <laughs> Alright, keep going. Uh, I'm not so sure we need the rotten heart since we're guppy, right? We're already making plenty of flies. Alright, let's do this. Rainmaker, what you got? Whoa. There it is. And a blood clot. All right, seems good. So that's pretty much all that we needed to do. We can go ahead and get out of here, go back to the normal, the normal world and continue on with this run. I feel like we could use some speed but, uh, other than that, I think we're doing pretty good at this point. Go here and going down. All 
All right. Let's continue on here. Whoa. Yeah, so soul health is something that I would like to see at this point. Button. Button. Uh, wait for my tears to calm down for a second here. Marked rock. What is that thing? Oh. Okay. Two soul hearts. I like it. Yeah, so, uh, having the tears <laughs> like we have, it's a little hard to control, just a little bit. Strength card? Yeah, that's pretty good. Like, normally with tears, you can kind of keep enemies that are rushing towards you at B. They have the little bit of a knockback effect. With these tears, it's really hard to get them, like, right where you want them to prevent enemies from hitting you. So, yeah, I don't have a lot of experience with Tiny Planet, but it is a pretty powerful item. If we could get the coal to go with it, that'd be great. There it is. Okay, a lot of red health. Some bombs are good. Uh, yeah, let's actually go into the curse room. Hey, that's worth. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Just running right into the fires. Let's not do that. Uh-huh. There's another button over here that didn't do anything. What's that all about? I don't know. Maybe that button on either side are connected? Maybe. What's in here? Dark bomb? Mm. Mm, I don't want bomb tears. I don't even know how that would work with what we currently have. $3 bill? Ooh. Yeah, I don't really know how Dr. Fetus would even work with Tiny Planet. That might be a huge mistake. But either way, we don't have to worry about it now since we didn't take it. Brain Worm. Does Brain Worm do anything with Tiny Planet? I think we have to science this one. Okay, let my tears calm down. Let's blow you up. Right? Uh, I want to... Well, I was going to say I want to buy that soul heart, but I also want to put money into the machine. Hmm. We might come back to this. Let's just hold off on that for just a moment here. Okay, yes. Yeah, so Brain Worm makes my tiny planet do some weird stuff. Uh, now we can... We're going to go back to the shop, we're going to get that soul heart, and then we're going to dump the remaining 11 cents into the machine, is what we're going to do. Oh, and that broke the machine, we can only put 10 cents in there, but we got the extra angel room chance sway, so that was pretty good. Yeah, Brain Worm was making my orbiting tears do some crazy things. So that could be really interesting to see how this is going to work. Maybe that's something that we really want to keep. Let's actually do this. The lovers. Okay. Not bad. Our dice is charged up, ready to go for... A possible devil deal. Oh, we don't have any keys, do we? That's not good. All right. Reap creep. Seems good. Damage up and we get an angel room. I'm not really interested in Little Delirium. This is a thing. 100% chance to find Angel Room. 
Is that all it does? Peace be with you. Interesting. So that just makes it so we can't get double deals now. Okay. Uh, I guess there's really no reason to fight the angel, but maybe... Maybe it just increases the overall chance, gives us like a little boost. I'm not actually sure. More money though. I mean, it says it's 100%. Does that make it so like we find the angel room every run, every floor, no matter what now? I don't know. I think we take with what we got, take what we got with us and we go. Should I go buy the battery in the shop? Nah, let's just go. Tears are going crazy. Joker. I think I gotta take the Joker over the strength. Yeah, I'm curious to see how this is gonna work. Does it just mean we always get an angel room every time? Like we can't get less than 100% angel room chance? We don't have any keys. Mm hmm. Let's see if we can find ourselves a key. Still no key. Hey, boss. The great Gideon. I'm feeling pretty strong. Definitely feeling strong. That guppy strength. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Speed up, size down. We got a pill, don't care about that. Holy mantle's good. All right. Bomb that. Hey. Uh, yeah, you know what? We probably shouldn't have gone the full key piece because now the angel won't drop anything when we kill it and we could have rolled for more things. Uh, we can't do that now. I still want to find a key so we can get into our item room, though. How are we doing on this? We don't need the boss rush or the hush or delirium. A key? <laughs> Where's my... Or a coin? Where's my keys? Bombs? Oh, I ran right into the... Okay, there is a key. Uh, we can go into these rooms for free now. Soul heart can't get it. Yeah, having the holy mantle? That's really nice to have. All right, so we want to use our key on either the shop or our item room. I think we're going to go into the item room. Bursting sack? All right. Uh, oh, wait. No, we got to go to the train station. The rail, the minecart thing. We got to go get our other knife piece. Otherwise, we ruin this run. Which way? Which way? This way? Nope. This way. Okay. Now it's running from mama time. I guess I have to press a button. I 
Whoa. Okay, I want to send her off this way. Bye bye. <laughs> See you later. Whoa. There's three rocks in a row there. I was like, why can't I go forward? Oh, there's poos here I can just pop. I thought I'd use the bomb to get through there. I mean, I guess I could have used a bomb, but I thought I had to. Let's throw the bomb at mama. Alright, and... There we go. Button. And we're out of here. See ya. Right now we can leave. So we got our Joker card, leaving that strength card behind. Angel room still open. Did I bomb you? Do you do anything? I know you can use like the kiosk card on this guy. I don't know if there's any other thing you can do to him though. There's like a uh, a walkway, a crawl space underneath him. I wonder if you can use like the shovel in that room to get to that scene. I went the wrong path. I was supposed to leave through another door. Welp, I guess we are now <laughs> going to do the beast. Whoops. Oh, well, I mean, either way is fine. Either way is fine. We needed to do them both. I went out of my way to get the knife piece so we could go and do the one thing, but I went and I screwed it up. Can we get a key in here? You got a key for me? Key. Looking for a key. That's a bomb. Dude, I know this guy's got a key for me. Somebody's got to have a key around here. What's with all the bombs? Why don't we get any keys? You know, these fire mine tears are scary because <laughs> if those explode on a fly, they'll blow this guy up. Womp womp. All right. Blow you up. There's my key. Quince? Uh, sure. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> Gotta be paying closer attention. Like, I took the time to remember to get all the things that we needed, and then I forgot to take the right door. Uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? All right, well, let's try not to make that mistake again. It would be really bad if, like, I didn't need any other completion marks, but thankfully... There's some keys. Thankfully, we still need a completion mark, so this run isn't going to be wasted. <laughs> okay, what's in the shop? Hanging shopkeeper. We don't really have any money. And we could try and blow this guy up for some money, I guess. I do need the full card, don't I? Uh, should I Joker now? I think we Joker now, and then we pick up that full card. I 
guess we'll take this. I don't really know how that affects anything. Okay. Take this. Take this. Um. Blow that up. They keep trying to give me more red health. I don't really want more red health. Isaac. All right, mama. Seems pretty good. We take this. We've already been in here. Uh, let's fool card. Go put our Polaroid into this. And we go this way to the beast. Very good. This wasn't an XL floor, was it? No, I don't think so. I don't think this can be XL because it just takes us to uh, Dad's note, I think. Magnetizing tears. Hopefully that won't be a problem. Okay. Uh, we don't really have any keys for that. Oops. We don't really have any keys for that chest. Um, blow you up. Blow you up. There's a key. People. Magician or death? I mean, magician would probably be good for the boss. Even though we have brainworm, I think magician would probably be better. We can blow this up, maybe get some black hearts or nothing. All right. I spent it. It's gone. Just get over it. What do you mean it's gone? How can you have spent our savings? Seems good. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking our damage right now. I feel very strong. I feel very sure of this run. Brainworm is definitely putting in some work here. Uh, you know what? You know what I didn't do is I didn't put a trinket into one of the rooms, so we're probably going to have to do another beast run on Isaac in order to unlock... Hmm... In order to unlock... Whoa! What just happened? Why did we have... Okay, the game crashed, but what just happened? I don't get it. I guess it didn't like me talking about we're going to have to go back and do another one of these runs to unlock the alternate Isaac character. I don't know what my tears are doing there, but whatever that was, it like... <laughs> it started getting out of control and locked up the game. Hopefully we don't have a problem like that again. So yeah, I had to quit the game forcefully, which I guess it saved the progress at the start of the floor. Just re-clear all these rooms real quick. Alright, well this was the room that we crashed in. There's a marked rock there, but we don't really need it. So yeah, anyway, I, don't, I didn't put a trinket in one of the rooms, so we can't get a cracked key, which is something that we need in order to unlock the alternate character. Unless we get really lucky, and the item that shows up... I mean, I guess you can find a cracked key just randomly, so we could get lucky that way. But, like, the item that shows up when you get to home in Mom's room could be the red key. Maybe we just get lucky and we find a cracked key on the way. I don't know. I don't know how rare those are, how common or uncommon they are.
causes familiars to circle around Isaac. I wonder, does that work with little Dumpy? Let's find out. Makes the key circle around me in the knife, but not little Dumpy. Okay, so six cents. Let's just throw this in here. Maybe, maybe this would give us a correct key too. I don't really know. We got a wooden cross. Protect you from the first damage you take every floor. I'm oh, good. I'm good. Okay, well, uh, that's really unfortunate. Let's just keep going though. Nothing in there. I'm just going to check every room to make sure if we can get this unlock, it would be really fantastic. Something I have is making chests pop open before I actually touch them. Okay, what else we got here? They're giving us plenty of trinkets. Hmm. Next floor. A pill. Yeah, having the holy mantle so good. It's just like you can walk into a room, just start clearing it. If you take stupid damage, whatever, it doesn't really count. Uh, I like it. Money, money. What's over here? Item room. Nothing of interest in there. Okay. We do the two by two room. Money, money, money. Yep, I don't see anything of interest in here. All right, well, have to keep looking. Maybe we get lucky. You need to confess your sins and become saved. Let his light inside you cleanse your you soul. You are insane. You are taking this too far. Did you hear how you sound? These things, when you blow them up, have things in them, I think. There's some money. Maybe there's not enough stuff in there, or there's not as much stuff in there, I guess, is what I thought there might be. Whoa, I stopped. I need to change the room before I, I crash. As soon as I saw the tears freaking out, I let go of the button. I didn't want to keep firing and crash, that's for sure. Okay, a key. A bomba. Mm hmm. Just blow up these marked rocks, even though I don't need them. At least I don't need them for the soul health. Just keep blowing them up. Maybe we'll get lucky. Whoop. Okay, stop firing. Right. Next floor. Hey, look at this. I don't remember leaving a trinket in this room, but apparently I must have. 
We are good to go. Everything is saved. Hey, I don't know what trinket I would have left there. And obviously I left some trinket. Hmm. What you got for me, Judgy? I feel like whatever you drop, we could roll. Magician. Wish I could take the magician with me. We got brainworm though. The black bean. Ah. Uh... Um. Okay. Oh, that's an addition. I was thinking that was tech one. That would just convert my entire tears to a laser. This works. That works real good with brainworm too, actually. And we have so many flies. Okay, well, I don't think there was anything that spawned in that room. Demon tail. There's still a few more rooms over here. I don't know what we're looking for. We're just kind of going at this point. We started full clearing all the rooms, so let's just continue. Okay. Up we go. Where are you going? Wait. We need you. One key for two? I like it. Gish. Didn't even know what happened. Please, please don't leave. I'm gonna take this eternal heart as just like extra well actually I guess it's just gonna turn into red health, won't it? It does it won't matter. I was gonna say I was gonna take that as extra hit protection, but yeah, we're gonna change floors, so that'll just convert to red health anyway. Wait, do I still have the thing that's making me pop these without touching? Nope. Must have been some tear effect that I had. Key beggar? Hmm. I am kind of interested to know if there is a way for me to get a cracked key other than those ways like can it spawn from a chest? Oh, I didn't know Key Beggar could give sacks. I think I've only ever seen him give chests before. Interesting. Piercing tears, sure. I don't know if we need to roll anything at this point. Like, I guess we could roll whatever comes out of mom's chest, but I think we have, we won't have enough charges for that. So kind of out on that. I, I think getting the piercing though was pretty worth it. All right, let's go. That chest is why I didn't want to give away all of my keys to the key beggar, but I guess it doesn't really matter. It didn't really give us anything incredible. So yeah, we use a cracked key here. You unlocked Isaac. Mom's bra. I think that's all we do.
All right, Dogma. Just you and me. I feel like this fight's gonna be a lot faster than the last one we did. Like, our damage was pretty awful the first time we went through this fight. But, like, the amount of flies that we're making and stuff... I feel like... Oh! I feel like this fight's just gonna be real fast. Look at all those flies. Oh, there goes my holy mantle. Flawless victory. Aside from getting hit with the holy mantle, but still flawless, no damage. Let the fun begin. This is going to be real fast. <laughs> yeah, the flies, the guppy, and the laser. Get them, flies. Nice. Uh oh. Am I doing damage? Or is my tears doing damage that's just kinda like sitting there? Why are my tears just sitting there? I'm not sure what's going on. Yes, go right into that pile of whatever that is. Is that gonna stay for the beast? Oh no, those are going away now. Oh, my tears. Holy Mantle's fine. I think I might actually get another Holy Mantle. Alright, Beast, what you got? Mm hmm. Just feed those flies right on into you. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, it's sucking me in. <laughs> I just changed its face. Oh, that's awesome. It didn't even do the, uh, the fire thing, whatever it does. That's it. We win. We're strong. The sky above cracked open, and a white beam of light reached down into the earth, smiting the mother of harlots asunder and setting the blood lake to a boil. As the beast descended down into the lake of fire, Isaac ascended towards the crack in the sky, and as he flew, he could see echoes of his past before him. He saw his mother mourning the loss of her son. He saw his father leaving them without turning to say goodbye. He saw his mother sleeping and his father taking money from her purse. He heard the late night fights they had that kept him up at night and the guilt he felt for what he believed he was causing. He felt the pain in his stomach during those sleepless nights and saw his shadow in the closet waiting for him. As he rose, he felt his fears drop from his body, his shame, his worry pulled from his being. As he became lighter, his ascent became faster. He saw his one true companion alive and well. He saw his mother and father together again, holding each other. He felt his mother kissing him on the head after he had said his prayers, and the comfort in knowing someone was watching over him. He saw his own birth, 
and the faces of his parents filled with joy and optimism. And then he saw nothing. Are you sure this is how you want this story to end, Isaac? You're the one writing it. It doesn't have to end this way. Here, how about we tell it a different way? Maybe a happy ending? Okay, Daddy. Good. Are you getting sleepy yet? Yeah. Okay, so... <clears throat> Isaac and his parents lived in a small house on the top of a hill. Options? Has appeared in the basement. All right, well, that was kind of a weird run. We did things that I didn't want to do, and we did it out of order and whatever, but, you know, we secured the victory. We unlocked the alternate Isaac, so that's good. Uh, we still need to go do Mother, so that's probably what we're going to do next run. Uh, or Greedier, whichever one. I'm not sure yet. Like I said, we already knocked out Maggie, so we'll probably do Keen after that and just continue along the wheel as we go. Hopefully, we'll be able to unlock the Lost while we do that but anyway that's it for me for today if you liked the episode be sure to hit the thumbs up button leave a comment down below let me know what i did wrong what i could have done better or if you got any tips or tricks for me yeah, leave them in the comments down below that's it thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time bye bye